What's up guys, in this video, I'm going to break down how you should be attacking these taco props. This is especially exciting. If you have a bankroll under $1,000, this is an amazing way for you to stay profitable on the month, just leveraging Taco Tuesday and Flex Friday on prize picks. Going forward into the future throughout the season, I'm going to get this type of video out on Monday night or extremely early on Tuesday. In this instance, today I'm a little bit late. The first taco prop is up, but we do have three hours for you guys to follow this system. So I'm gonna show you some screenshots. I have locked these in on prize picks and I'm just gonna break them down for you. So with each taco prop, I'm going to put $5 on each of these five combinations paired with the taco prop. On prize picks, because it is DFS and it's fantasy compliant, which makes it legal in states like California, Texas, Florida, you have to take one player from multiple teams in order to be fantasy compliant and be legal. So you couldn't just pair these three players up and expect to hit enter and submit, right? It would be, if you could, that would be amazing and we would just do that, but we have to have players from multiple teams. So when you get a promo prop like the taco props, we can assume that those will hit about 70% of the time. So knowing that the taco props are very advantageous, we can now take a group of players from one NFL offense and take all three of them to go over together. And then if the Seahawks game script warrants the Seahawks passing the ball a lot, like maybe they the, the Rams have a couple special teams and defensive touchdowns and the Seahawks just have to play from behind. Geno Smith throws for 300 yards. Lockett and Metcalf are going to hit their receiving overs. Now, there are limits on the taco props. You can only put down $25 on each one. Otherwise, we would hammer these. But the way we're going to spread it out to diversify and to give ourselves the best opportunity to profit is we're going to put $5 on each of these throughout the three tacos. So for the first taco, the Kershaw taco, I'm going to pair, five, I'm going to pair those Seahawks players up, put $5 on it. Then I'm going to pair these two Colorado players up and put $5 on that. Then I'm gonna pair the Eagles players up, put $5 on that. Same thing with uh, Georgia Tech. I, to be honest, I don't even know Georgia State. I don't even know. I just looked at the player's uh, performance. This guy, Darren Granger, had thrown for 200 yards and Robert Lewis had 97 of those yards. So what I'm really looking at here is not necessarily the players or the matchups or what school. I don't even need to know anything about the school. I'm really just looking at, does this player get a lot of targets from him? If I assume this hits, will this player be likely to go over? The answer is always yes, but there are some teams where the quarterback spreads the ball out more than others. I'm looking for teams where the quarterback has a clear cut favorite target, and then I'm pairing that quarterback back up with that target. And I will say, I would rather do three mans where you have two receivers but right now there's not a lot out for this weekend and we have to we only have three hours to lock this in so we've got to attack what we have here so deshaun watson his two favorite targets are amari cooper and david and joku so if we assume deshaun has to get into a shootout with cincinnati say he throws for 250 yards amari cooper and david and joku are going to be the guys catching those passes so we're just going for the correlation so for example i can put 25 dollars on clayton kershaw i have three hours to do that if I go to my entries, which is over here, you guys will see how I spread out the $25. I put $5 with, with each combination. And of course, for somebody like me that puts down $200 per play, I have about $4,400 in my account right now the, with, between my account balance and what I have deployed. It's not that big of a deal to me for prize picks, but for a lot of y'all that have under $1,000 in your account, like this is going to go a long way just doing this every Tuesday and staying disciplined. You can't be lazy. You have to be on the app and you have to be locking these in and you have to make a game plan. But if you guys put $5 on each of these combinations, we're set. And I'm going to pull up DraftKings over here and see if they have NFL player props just so I could show you guys the comp. That would be cool to do. If I can't show you the comp, then what I could do is probably use a Chiefs example. I'm just gonna use a Chiefs example so that you guys can really soak this in. Teaching math is really hard and it's just hard to find the words. It's easier if I just show you. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. So if we do same game here and we do player receiving yards and let's say we'll go, well, why is this locked? You gotta be kidding me. 
they may have closed it, so it's going to be hard to show you guys. But if I can show you guys, it will be awesome. I'm going to pause the video and see if I can show you. Okay, here we go. So, on FanDuel, a sports book, same game parlay, Mahomes, Kelsey, and Valdez Scantling. If you put $25 down for all three to go over their projections, you're winning $100. On prize picks, if you pair those three with the taco prop, so I've got Kershaw up here over. If you pair those three up, $25 wins you $250. So it is much more powerful of a play to do this on prize picks. And by getting the same team, the same players um, on the same team, like teammates on the same offense, that is giving us a huge edge here. But the way to diversify is to get five combinations and basically mitigate risk by spreading it out. $5 to win $25 and then $5 to win $50 on the trios and then just spread it out across these five plays. So when the second taco is released later this afternoon, I'm gonna do the same combinations paired up with that taco to go over. And then when the third taco is released, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna track this all season, the return on investment. So if you guys are interested in that, hit the subscribe button and I'll be recapping this Taco Tuesday performance in next Taco Tuesday's free pick video. So if you guys wanna copy these exactly how I do, um, it'll be fun to see how much profit we make at the end of the season. And I don't know if I have, let me see. Here it is, prize picks app, promo code SBE if you're not on it. And then most importantly, get on the chalkboard group chat. I'm posting the link to join in the pinned comment of this video. I post my live bets. I post free picks like these Taco Tuesday entries in there. And all you have to do is get the um, chalkboard app and then go to group sports betting education. So if you go through my link, I'll get credit for you. If you just get the app, just make sure that the first group you join is Sports Betting Education and I'll get the credit. They are sponsoring this whole operation. So the reason that I can sit around and find value for you guys all day and help you guys profit is because y'all are supporting the channel and supporting the sponsorships we have. So not only are you gonna get a ton of value in that group chat, but you're also helping fund this channel straight up I'm the only creator that's that transparent with y'all to tell y'all that I'm getting fucking paid by this app. So if you appreciate the transparency, lock it in. Get on the Chalkboard Group Chat app. All these other creators, they make money quietly. They act like they're fucking broke. And they don't even tell you how much they're getting paid off of you doing all these things for you. For me, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I honestly view you guys as like family or super close friends. Like when I meet somebody that watches my YouTube channel at the airport or at, at a game or something like that, like instantly we have that fucking connection. And I believe a lot of it is because I'm so transparent with y'all. I'm so real with y'all. Y'all are real with me. Y'all hold me accountable. And uh, I just appreciate you guys as always. So that's all I've got for this video. Next week, I'll get it out further in advance. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next free pick video. Look out for those dropping tonight on NFL week one and college football week two will go out probably tomorrow. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.